Welcome back. Now, this is yet another communication mistake that most of us end up doing. We try to avoid difficult conversations as much as possible. Now, conflicts are natural in human interactions. Avoiding conflicts may not be prudent. Thus, it is better to learn to carry out such conversations by providing clear and actionable feedback, irrespective of how difficult it may be for you. Let's look at a couple of situations here. In situation one, the difficult situation is that the company is having financial problems. Now, one person has to be let go. The team member which is chosen to be let go was hired more recently and she has great potential. It's just that she needs a little bit of guidance to do her job. So before speaking to her, what you do is you reach out to some of your acquaintances from other companies and you find that one of them is hiring. So when you give her the bad news, you also tell her about the opportunity and give her a recommendation letter. She ends up getting hired at the other organization. So in this case, what happened is you did not avoid the difficult conversation. You had the difficult conversation, but you then also had a resolution alongside. So that's one of the ways in which we can go ahead and have the difficult conversations without avoiding them. Let's look at another situation. This time you've got a rude client. Wow. Most of us in sales and marketing do get rude clients. But then does it mean that we stop talking to them? Does it mean that we totally ignore or avoid them? Let's look at that. Now, this one, the root client is a new and important client. One of the options is to let, let him be, right? And keep channels of communication only as email or phone. The other option is to go meet the client to understand the cause of the behavior and also politely inform that this kind of behavior is totally unacceptable and non-professional. Well, you also tell the client that we really want to serve you well, but then you need to really help us serve you well. On digging deep, you find that the client has been going through a lot in terms of the personal life. Because of those personal issues, the client has become rude. What the client does is he or she apologizes to you and thus serving becomes easier post the difficult conversation. Now, had you not gone ahead with this difficult conversation with this rude client, so to speak, neither you would have known that the client was going through certain personal issues in life as a result, such behavior resulted nor you would have been able to service the client well. So a suggestion is that do not avoid difficult conversations, have them because that may lead to resolution of conflicts. Let's see each other in the next video.